Hey there, this is Spencer, and I'm going to make a change really quick to the Chamber website and show you how I'm going to do it. Now, we're using Divi Builder uh, 3.0, and the easy way to do this particular change is on the back end. Now, the way this um, is set up, I've got a full width slider, which means we can change out the slides um, by actually changing the content in the slide or we can add new ones and disable old ones let's uh, do this real quick we'll do, do button text is join today okay and let's get that link I think I have another landing page set up for that, but we'll just focus on this one right now. And then we'll change the background image. Now we can select anything or upload anything. I'm gonna try and pick something that looks like there's some activity going on. I think these old, uh, Meeting pictures might look good. We'll see what it looks like. So we'll go ahead and save that. And to add a new one, you just click add new slide. And then you'd fill out all the information. I'm going to not uh, save that right now. So anyways, that's how you edit a slide and change the name of it so you know which one you're about to edit. And then you can just click this X to get rid of any uh, old ones or extra ones that you don't need. And then um, there's more fine tune controls in here. And there's also a really cool feature. If you had a video, there's a way to add video here. And let me just show you, um, well actually I wish I had an example. Um, I don't have an easy one, but if you upload video to the site, you can um, click this upload button. Oh, so we do have a video on here. Let's see what this one is. So we'll go ahead and save and exit. And we're going to preview the change. I actually have to click that so there we go so this is the first picture we've got more the backs of people's heads I don't know if that's the best picture to use let's see what this video looks like along Tulsa's Route 66 now folks in southwest Tulsa for improvements to the Crystal City area it's a partly abandoned shopping center on Southwest Boulevard, north of 33rd West Avenue. While it's lost a few tenants in recent years, the owners are investing in the shopping center from the roofing to the You can the see the video plays. Now, we need to change some settings to make that really work right. Uh, first thing I'm going to do, though, is change out this picture. Um, if we edit it and crop it, if we edited this picture and cropped it, uh, maybe... So we got the, the top of the speaker's head and maybe we could even do like the top of the American flag and then the, the bottoms of the tops of the heads of people that are attending, that might look really good. But if we go in here, let's just grab one. This one with the mayor might look good. Let's see how that turns out. Um, we'll just save it. And preview and that one's a little shrunken so that is not not the best result there let's go ahead and pick a different one now I'm showing you this in the hopes that um, 
you might have an idea of a, the picture that maybe you want uh, to put on here or uh, in general could get an idea of what you want to make for it. Let's try this one here and I might be able to manipulate it so that more of the top or bottom shows up. Let's do a preview. I know I hovered over the update button. I'm not clicking that yet. Um, it should work this way. So I've made these changes here. If I click use visual builder, it should take me to the visual side without losing those changes. And then what I can do once here, I can see I'm scrolled down so I get this double Very arrow to stretch and shrink. And I'm going to stretch this down. Tulsa for improvements to the Crystal City area. It's a partly abandoned shopping center on, on Southwest Boulevard, north of 33rd West Avenue. While it's lost a few tenants in recent years, the owners are investing in the shopping center. Oops. Let's change that in here. Now you can see it shows the back up with our um, menu option, same, same kind of menu we had on the back end. Let's see here. Now this might actually fix the problem. Yeah, let's try this areas along Tulsa's Route 66. Now folks in that Southwest Tulsa works. for improvements to the Crystal City area. It's a partly abandoned shopping center on Southwest Boulevard north of 33rd West Avenue. While it's lost a few tenants in recent years, the owners are investing in the shopping Let's center from so the roofing to the pavement. The Southwest Chamber of Commerce hopes it will tie with improvements on route. And we're going to change the parallax method. Try that. I kind of like that better. Now this uh, background is going to change when we save all this. So we're going to save it and exit the visual builder to see a true representation of how it will look. Let's see. That That's decent. Um, not exactly what I was looking for, but uh, we definitely need to make a couple of changes to the text here. So if we come back, back into the editing and we open up the slide, we can see a background to text, which might be on this design tab. See body text color, body font, Usually we're going to see background in there, not seeing it. Header text color. Use background, use text overlay. That's what we want right there. And right now it's set to transparent. So we'll just come in here and select uh, not that gray. And we'll actually make it transparent. Something like that. Join. We don't need that title in there. Let's okay. Slider vertical alignment. Let's see what it looks like with the bottom alignment. Check that. Save the whole thing. And exit. That still is not really what we want to see. So we're going to edit this one more time. I think we'll change the text color. We did figure out that's the header text. 
which actually let me show you a different way to do this if you just select whoa accidentally click the button somehow but if you select the text Oh, I see what's going I'm clicking. Can't click this text. Okay, that's kind of annoying because that messes up what I'm trying to do. So, can't edit it that way. Come back in here. Go to header, font. Let's make it bold. Enter text color. Let's see what it looks like. Black. I think that looks good. Now let's see if there's some button options here. Use custom styles for button. And let's make the text color. Let's see what it looks like. Black. Boom. Let me click that thing, didn't mean to. I think that looks pretty good, actually. Uh, border radius, is probably, that's fine. Let's make this bold also. Looks good. I think we'll keep that. And then we'll exit Visual Builder. So now we have something that's uh, easy to read. And both the button and the title redirect us to our desired location. So I think that works out pretty good. But like I said, a better picture in that spot might might actually work out a little better. Um, especially since I grabbed that same one for the background. And uh, if you need more help on that, let me know.